Praise God, hallelujah, Saturday evening worship service. Hello, beloved church family. My name is Joey Karangan, and I am recovered by the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you so much for joining us this Saturday evening. Praise God. Holy Spirit has, as he always does, has something just life-changing for us. And I am just so excited. Amen. So without further ado, let's open up in prayer. Pray with me. Please pray for me in Jesus' name. Heavenly Fathers, we thank you for eternity for Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we plead your holy and precious blood. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are God Almighty. And Father God, nothing can come against you. So Father God, we just thank you so much that Holy Spirit, you are every breath. And as we breathe you in, Holy Spirit, as your children, as your temples, Father, that you would flow through us. Teach us, O oh Lord. Father God, speak to us. And we just thank you so much, Father, that in your presence, that you would change us, Father God. Thank you so much, Father God, for renewing our thoughts. Thank you, Father God, for overflowing through our hearts. Thank you, Father God, for restoring and healing our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Praise God. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Saturday evening already. Praise God. And uh, if we're not raptured out here in this next half an hour, praise God, I pray that uh, you come back tomorrow morning, Sunday morning worship service, hallelujah, and I'm sure Holy Spirit has something amazing in store, praise God. Um, this evening, we're going to be in Matthew 25, and we're going to start in Matthew 25, and uh, we're just going to go through the first part of Matthew 25 from verses 1 to, to 13, and... Um, this parable that Lord Jesus Christ is, uh, is teaching whoever has ears to hear. And don't you love that when, when, when God speaks that way and when you read it in the written word of God? For those who have ears to hear, let them hear. And we have to pause quickly because what God is saying is that, is your heart receptive in what Holy Spirit is speaking beyond what your feelings are or opinions about the parable or the story or what is written in the Holy Bible, right? And glory to God, I know who I'm worshiping with. Amen. Amen, right? We are beloved children of God. Jesus Christ is Lord. So we are going to be obedient to whatever Holy Spirit has for us, and we allow God to just change our heart. Amen? And it's in this parable that Lord Jesus Christ talks about the ten bridesmaids. And this is extremely powerful because we are now approaching the time of when the trumpet will sound. And this is touching on the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So praise God, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. And uh, whatever Holy Spirit has for us, we'll just, we'll just be obedient. Amen. Say with me, be obedient. Praise God. Hallelujah. Once again, Matthew 25. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. Amen. And don't you love these parables of Lord Jesus Christ? Because he just got finished saying, right, in the previous chapter, in the previous text, as far as one will be in the field, right? Two will be in the field, one will go, one will stay, right? It's 50-50. And here he is again, once again, the word confirming the word. And he says, the foolish ones took their lamps, but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oils in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was long time in coming. Can you say that with me? It was a long time in coming. And they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out. And once again, in this parable, in this story, Lord Jesus Christ spoke of many parables, many stories. Of course, we know it as the Holy Bible. Amen. We know it as far as the Gospels, right? The Gospels. And as the disciples recorded what Holy Spirit has inspired them to write down, in the written word of God, 
we have to keep in mind that Lord Jesus Christ, agape, hallelujah, agape, who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He is our God Almighty, amen? And isn't it beautiful that, imagine, imagine that we didn't have this, right? Imagine that this wasn't written yet, right? And you could just imagine that, please imagine that. And you could just, I pray that you could just see that, you know, here we are with Lord Jesus Christ, right? And praise God for those of us at that time knows the, the scrolls, knows the old covenant, right? Knows the books of the law and all that stuff. Well, praise God, you, you, you have some knowledge of that, amen? And also you have some knowledge as far as the order of Father God, right? The order of Yahweh, right? The order of God Almighty. And then you have some of those that really don't know much other than, well, you know, I just have to be right with God, and I know that we celebrate the Day of Atonement, and we have a sacrifice for God, and uh, we sit under a lot of teachings, right, from, from holy people that do all the correct things, right? So you have this mixture of people that are in fellowship, right? And you, here it is recorded, of course, in Matthew 25, that Lord Jesus Christ, rather than talking about what is already done said, because he is the one that said it, amen? He is the word of God. Lord Jesus Christ was the one that said everything, amen? He knows what, how many of you agree? God knows what he said, amen? God knows his word, praise God. And that's why it's so powerful to stand on the word of God, to speak in faith what God has said, because that word doesn't ever come back empty, amen? But what Holy Spirit is teaching us right now is to get into the atmosphere of worship when here is agape, Lord Jesus Christ, talking about these 10 virgins, right? And isn't that amazing that here is God Almighty in a relationship with his people, right? Here's Lord Jesus just trying to talk about, I'm from the Father. The Father is in me. I'm in the Father. We are one. And I'm going to tell you as far as everything that's going to happen, but I have to say it in a way, in a story, so that everybody can understand. Amen? And don't you love that about God Almighty? Amen? That He isn't a God that you have to jump through all these hoops, have to get all this, you know, all this education, have to do all these things. All our Father is asking is, will you receive my sacrifice for you? Will you receive Jesus Christ? my only son that I sacrificed for you. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that we have people listening right now. Please, in Jesus' name, just receive Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Father, I receive you. I receive you. Lord Jesus, I make you my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the Messiah. You are the Son of God. You are his sacrifice. Amen. And glory to God is in that transaction when you receive him. Holy Spirit now lives in you and in me. Amen. And so let's continue on, praise God. So he's telling this story, this parable, because remember, Lord Jesus Christ, agape, God himself, wants to teach whoever has ears to hear a new way, right? Because remember, this is a new testament, right? New testimony, amen? It has to be all about him, praise God, all about Lord Jesus Christ. And here, Lord Jesus Christ is in the flesh talking about, the coming rapture that's going to happen in this next half an hour. Amen. And this is what he says. He says, the, the bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. Verse six, at midnight, the cry rang out. This is the trumpet. Here's the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Now check this out. Verse seven. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. In verse 9, no, they replied. There may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and they shut the door. Later, the others also came. Sir, sir, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. 
Verse 13, therefore keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. And this is the word of the Lord, amen? And in the word of the Lord, in, in the parable that Lord Jesus Christ, this is all red text now, right? Red letters. And what Lord Jesus Christ is teaching and telling us, and for anybody right now, this day and age, whoever has ears to hear, we have to be reminded that a virgin is pure. Amen? A virgin is pure. Well, by the grace of God, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are pure. Amen? He washed away your sins as white as snow. You are pure. Say with me, I am pure. Amen? So right away, God is saying, okay, amen, let's go ahead and make this a level playing field right now, because it's leveled at the feet of the cross, amen? Many of you heard that before, it's leveled at the feet of the cross. So the Lord Jesus Christ died for everybody, amen? Lord Jesus Christ died for, we like to say, everybody, right? And so when we know this, now it becomes personal because I say, Lord Jesus Christ, you died for me, you are my Lord and my Savior. Amen? What took place? I am pure. It's not me, right? It's not me. It's Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And being crucified in Lord Jesus Christ, confessing Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Savior, I choose to die in Christ. I died already. And the glory of God is Holy Spirit now, amen, resurrects me in that power, the resurrection power, and this is being born again. Amen? Just had a conversation not too long ago. Why do you say you died already? What does that even mean? And I asked, I asked this man. I said, bro, are you born again? Well, yeah, I'm born again. I have Jesus Christ the Lord. Well, in order to be born again, you have to die. Can you get an amen? And once again, beloved church family, I'm not being condescending. I'm not making fun of nobody. But I'm just saying, if we get hung up on all these things without just worshiping, then all we're doing is we're trying to understand God without trusting. But when I trust that I already died in Christ, and I trust that, that Lord Jesus is perfect, I received Lord Jesus into my life, and glory to God, I died in Christ. And I am born again through Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit lives in me. I hear from God, I speak to God, I walk with God, amen? Laugh with God. It's all about God, amen? All about God. And when I say this, now I know that I am pure. Amen? I am pure. But don't you love how Lord Jesus Christ speaks this parable in teaching about the, His coming, amen? About the coming of the bridegroom, about His coming, right? Right? Because here they all are. Here they all are, virgins, pure, right? But then you have the foolish that didn't have extra oil, right? Basically, you have the foolish that, yeah, I know you, Jesus, but I don't want nothing to do with you. I know you, but I don't want nothing to do with you. But then you have the five wise. Hallelujah. Say with me, I am wise in Jesus' name, amen? Amen. And it's in this wisdom that you know that your salvation come at the highest cost, the highest price. That that price was paid through Christ our Lord, that now you know I am his property. I am property of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And as his property, you know that the oil, the living oil, the anointing oil of Holy Spirit is now in you. And the only way to have extra oil in, in, in in the overflow is what? Amen. Through worship. Amen. Through a relationship with God. You see, we will not stop in Jesus name. We will not stop worshiping Lord Jesus Christ, blessing Holy Spirit and speaking the truth of the, of the written word of God. We will not stop in Jesus name. Praise God. Newsflash. When we're raptured out of here, we're not going to stop worshiping. For all of eternity, we're going to worship. Amen? And so when we worship God this way, when we're so thankful for Lord Jesus Christ, and that we make God number one, this is what Lord Jesus Christ meant when he said, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. 
Lord Jesus is saying, you have to love God above everything. Amen. You have to love God with every bit of your thoughts, with every bit of your might, your strength, with every bit of your hope, your trust, right? With every bit, you have to love him. And the glory of God is when you strive that way in worship, Holy Spirit. Say his name, beloved church family. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the one. He is the oil that you are in the overflow. Amen? You are in the overflow. And the glory of God is just like when that bridegroom, when the bridegroom came, right? It, can you imagine on that glorious day when the trumpet sounds? We don't know when it will happen, beloved church family. But as you know, in all of the messages, God is preparing us. Amen? God is preparing us. God is, right? He's testing us. And isn't this a test in just in this parable in Matthew 25? About here, Lord Jesus Christ is saying, all right, they're all virgins. They're all pure. But five were smart and five were foolish. The foolish ones, they just relied on, well, yeah, I'm pure, right? They just had it as a label. But the other five, the wise ones, right? There was more intimacy there. There was more of a relationship because they didn't look at their lamps as, well, this is just a lamp, whatever. There was more int intimacy and anticipation of the coming of the bridegroom. And glory to God, Holy Spirit said, close the written word, be obedient. Glory to God, isn't that what Holy Spirit does in us as our advocate, as our comforter? Right, beloved church family? See, this is what this world cannot, will not, won't ever, hates Holy Spirit. This world does not want anything to do with Holy Spirit. You can have religion all day long. You could recite the Bible till you're blue in the face, but don't bring Holy Spirit in. Because this world doesn't want the anointing power of Holy Spirit. He is God Almighty. Amen. Agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And isn't it beautiful that when you receive Christ and you have this relationship with God through Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit in you and in me, you're excited, right? Like Christmas morning, amen? You, you just, you, you can't wait, hallelujah. And you don't, you don't get weary, you don't get tired, no. Because it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. And praise God, I know Listen, beloved church family, I know we go through things. I know stuff happens. But in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit in us, as we bless God and we're thankful, he is the one to make sure that our oil is in the overflow. Amen. And that we are these lamps that continuously burn, no matter how dark it gets, right? No matter what the season is, right? That we're, con we're always on fire for the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I love that because it just shows that these five wise virgins, they had the extra oil. Why? Because of that anticipation, right? Because, because they want nothing more than to be ready. To be ready when the bridegroom comes, right? When Lord Jesus Christ comes, amen? How many of you are ready, amen? If the trumpet was to go off right now, in this, I mean, what, what, Right? And if, if you're not, or if there's a second thought in Jesus' name, get, get it right. Maybe it's, it's as easy as you just saying sorry to somebody or reaching out to somebody, right? Maybe it's just some of you that say, you know what, I just, I just need to get plugged back in, right? I need to be in fellowship, amen? Whatever it is the Holy Spirit is working on you, I just know in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit is filling you right now, amen? That oil from heaven, is flowing right now over your body, over your mind, over the soul, amen? And it's just saturating, just filling the Holy of Holies in the overflow, amen? And I pray in Jesus' name that your fire, hallelujah, your lamp is eternal, hallelujah, and that we are ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you receive that tonight? Pray God, I pray you do, amen? Because remember, Lord Jesus Christ spoke this parable because he's cautioning us, right? He's cautioning us. He's, he's speaking to us right now. Holy Spirit speaking to us right now. Be ready. Which one are you? Are you the wise? Right? We, like, once again, 
You receive Jesus Christ as Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, you're pure as a virgin. White as snow, amen. Hallelujah, there is no stain of sin, amen. There's no stain of condemnation, none of that. His blood washed us white as snow. Glory to God. Let's give God praise for that, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we're not worthy. Lord Jesus Christ is, and it's because of him, right? That he made us all white as snow, innocent, right? But now, listen to what Lord Jesus Christ is teaching us, right? Holy Spirit said, there was five foolish, and then there's five that are wise. And praise God, I know who I'm worshiping when we are wise. Say it with me, I am wise. And how are you wise? We worship the Father, giving him thanks, giving him praise, listening to Holy Spirit and being obedient. Amen, being obedient to God's word and allowing God to flow through us, amen? Hallelujah. I pray you receive that tonight. Praise God. Holy Spirit just wanted to bless us with that life-changing revelation, amen? That we no longer live this life saying, oh yeah, I've been a Christian this many years. No, it has nothing to do with that. I am a beloved child of God. Jesus Christ is my Lord. He owns me. And his spirit, Holy Spirit lives in me. He's my every breath. I am his temple. And glory to God, because of Lord Jesus Christ, the anointing of Holy Spirit in me, he holds me accountable. He holds me accountable. He, he guards my eyes that I only see his glory. Amen. That I don't allow darkness in. He guards my ears, right? Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. I only hear faith. I only hear what Holy Spirit has to say. Amen. I only hear the voice of my Heavenly Father. I only hear agape. Amen. He controls this. Remember? Controls this, right? Amen. That I only speak life. Hallelujah. I only speak blessings. Amen. And glory to God as we do this, beloved church family, as we worship our Heavenly Father in a relationship with God Almighty. Holy Spirit blesses us with his presence overflowing in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all of eternity for Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, as we plead your holy and precious blood, we know, Heavenly Father, nothing can come against your blood. And we thank you, Father God, for this teaching, Holy Spirit, for you are the only teacher of the parable you spoke, Lord Jesus Christ, in Matthew 25. We thank you, Father God, that you made us all pure, like virgins, white as snow. You washed all our sins away. And Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, Father God, for the wisdom that you blessed us with, with the five whys. And that Heavenly Father, we know that number five means grace. And Holy Spirit, you are grace. And Holy Spirit, we just thank you that your grace is overflowing in our lives. Father, we are sorry where we hurt you. Forgive us, Lord. And Father, I ask for you to change me. Change me to be everything Everything that you want me to be, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence that flows through Open Arms Community Church. We are your holy people. And Father, as I plead your holy and precious blood, I thank you, Father God, that every soul, Father, that hears your word, that your anointing flows through them, that your light shines through them, Father, piercing through the darkest of darkest, Father God. Thank you, Father, for extinguishing the darts of the enemy, in Jesus Christ's name. And all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I pray that we have overflowing of oil, amen. I pray that I know you are, praise God, in Jesus' name. Love you so much, beloved church family. Praise God. Can't wait to see you tomorrow morning. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Love you guys. God bless. Mwah.